What's up, what's up, my good people? This is your girl, Miss Good News, and your boy. Fresh. And your boy, Symphony of Symphony yeah. Media and the Multimedia Director here at Livingstone College. We rocking it out with WLJZ 107.1 FM, and we got a special guest in the building. I'm oh, sorry y'all had to wait so long for the introduction, but his I'm name Chuck is Tam. Long Money Phil. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm chilling. What's up? How you doing? We doing good, man. Thank you for coming through. Appreciate we it, excited bro. about all of this. We excited about your career and all the things that you already doing thus far. And so tell the people, what project are you pushing right now? Let's just get right into it and we'll go all the way through it. Right now, my latest project is uh, Serious Me. We got a deluxe version out, so it came out like a few months ago, and then we dropped the deluxe like 60 days after. So we pushing that all the way through. I got like 16, 17 tracks, probably more, but that's the one we on right now. We done been working that one all summer. Okay. Throughout the winter, throughout this fourth quarter. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the... Go ahead, Prince. <laughs> nah, so with with that, how did you come up with the, uh, the name of the... Um, the uh, deluxe album. That kind of like a little, a little scene I be seeing, like serious me, like I ain't playing, like I tell you, we we be talking about something, and I be like, no, serious me, like no, nah, I ain't playing, like for real. Like on my mama. Yeah, like on my mama, exactly. <laughs> yeah. like, exactly right. Okay, so what's the difference between the deluxe and the original version? Deluxe more pressure. Mm. More pressure, have more time. Okay. To come back again. Yeah. And we gotta apply that pressure. Yeah, more pressure. We <laughs> more pressure on the deluxe. But we all the way through though. From, oh. the, from the from the first version to the deluxe version, ain't no skips. Okay. So what kind of rapper would you say that you are? A, a, a realist. Okay. A, a realist. I give you my real life. Yeah. And everything I see, everything I do. Okay, and are you from Charleston, born South Carolina, raised. born and raised? Born and raised. Okay, okay, because I was telling him, I was like, man, I love the way you talk. He was like, don't we all talk the same? He was like, no, no, we don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I love it. I probably got a, a little bit worse, but, you know. It's yeah. good. It worked for you. That's that's you. That's your identity yeah, we, right we there. Get you. Yeah, we get I like you. it. How does it work for you in your music? Do you find yourself having to repeat yourself a lot? I feel like it gave me an advantage. Like, yeah. People don't hear often, so I don't know if they ever heard it at all, so it kind of attract them. Right. I, I kind of got to go back sometimes and, you know, break it down for some people, but most, for the most part, I, I feel like it's, a, it's an advantage. But I don't, I don't sound the same. Yeah, no, for sure. It's like when, you, when you're definitely like a different artist, and um, I, I think a lot of people in this day and age are attracted to or to something that's different that's not the same exactly like, i don't like gotta that. worry about this yeah. listening to the they don't even really gotta know what i really saying but they just like and he yeah. sound like he he gotta be from the islands or something like yeah, right. let me you, let me listen again yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. sound like a little bit like because i'm from like in college I, I met a lot of people from the bahamas right. so their accent is kind of similar to uh people from charleston exactly everywhere we go they they can pay us yeah. caribbean yeah. bahamas uk yeah i don't hear all that it works for you. Man, I know people probably be around you be trying to pick up your accent. You know how people go to New York, they be up there for six months, they come back, and you, they be like, you be like, you're not from New York, stop that. No, I don't think they can pick it up. They can't pick that one up. They can't pick that one right there. It's too real. Yeah, they can't pick it up. <laughs> so tell us about some of the shows you've done. Like, I know you've been in the game for like 16 years, right? Uh, We've been working like this year. We've been... We been having shows like throughout the year. Shit, I remember like my first show like 17 years old. We still in high school. All the way up until now, we at South Carolina State Homecoming. We we just was in the Colonial Life Arena that's in Columbia. That been big. You know, we just okay. elevating, trying yeah. to level up every time. We got a we got a surprise about to about to be announced in, in a few, but we gonna hold that down. Okay. We're gonna be on a, a bigger stage sometime soon. I can see that for you. Yeah. I can see that for you. Like, yeah, how do you feel, like coming from South Carolina? How do you feel like the music is, the music industry is in South Carolina versus the Carolinas, North Carolina, and then any other place that you've been? I feel like Carolina as a whole, like 
we slept on, even though North Carolina, they kind of like got their shine already. Mm-hmm. But like South Carolina, we ain't, nobody really tapped in yet to, to even see what we really got going on. Right. And we like, there's, there's multiple artists out there who let so like, not even just Charleston, you got the other cities, Columbia, upstate, right. really like just South Carolina, like, I don't think we get a chance to be heard yet, so I, I feel like we slept on. But you gonna change that? I'm gonna change that. Got a few people with me who gonna change that. We gonna yeah. get in the door, we gonna, we gonna do what we gotta do. I can feel that. I feel that you gonna change that. And then we'll talk about uh, tonight, all of the DJs and the tastemakers yeah. and the promoters and everybody that's gonna come out and support you and hear what you got yeah. to say. Tell us about that, the meet and greet on tonight. The meet and greet, they're going to they go down. I'm going to put on how I supposed to put on. They're going to feel me when I, when I come through. Hopefully, they, they like the music. And we, we go from there. Okay, and shout out to DJ Chuck T. Shout out to DJ Chuck T. He put, yeah. all, he put all us together for us. He laying a real big help on him. I, I appreciate him. Yeah. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate him. appreciate my team, too, because, you know, it be days when... They gotta force me to get up and go get it. It's like, it get hard sometimes. I believe it. Be, it be a lot of stuff coming from different ways, but um, we ain't gonna stop. We ain't gonna stop. So what, what would you say the toughest challenge is being an artist out of South Carolina, trying to like really make a name for the whole state of South Carolina, and then being your age and being in it as long as you've been, like, what do you think is the, the toughest thing? Toughest probably thing? like. Getting in, getting in the right spots, like, like even now that I'm working and I, I just now walking through y'all doors, so like, it take time to get right. the way you going. Like I say, we, I just now getting on some big stages, like everything just take time. You got grind. Yeah. So, seeing how you got the deluxe, how do you go about picking artists as features and uh, beats? Beat wise, I got a handful of beats, man. Mm-hmm. And feature wise, I don't, I don't really do features unless I real tap in with a person. Yeah. So it only, it only really a few features on me. And like my next project probably ain't really gonna have no features on. Me. Right. But if you see, if you see me with a feature, me and that person it probably way past music. Mm-hmm. Okay. It probably yeah. way past music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First person I heard to say that. That's good. Mm-hmm. So how has COVID? helped you or harmed you because I've heard a lot of artists they say that it helped them actually you know it kind of cultivated them to be who they are better uh, artists or whatever it is at they first I mean you know when it had us had us locked up locked down that gave us time to work that we had to do put all the music yeah. out like trap in the studio now you know they they, they let the press off so we back outside we everywhere everywhere I need to be promoted and we trying to be right there right but you know, you still got moves here. You still out here moving around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, hmm. I'm so excited. There's so many things I want to ask. So, you look like a, a guy or artist that would have a clothing line and all that stuff. You got to look for it. So, do you have merch and all that? We, we had merch one time. But like I say, it's it just a whole lot of juggling going on. Like, I'm going to try to bring the merch back ASAP. I got my homeboy, my manager, C. He yeah. got the merch going crazy right now. MTM, Money, the Motive Empire. He got the merch going crazy right now. We, okay. I, we in Atlanta, we bumping into people with his merch on. And yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to bring mine back too. But, you know, he he on the team, so we promoting that. And we going to get the CBC gear back too. Got my label, CBC Certified Bag Chaser. So when you see them hoodies and them, them scallies and yeah. the pants, the match, they going to be CBC or they going to be MTM. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're going to play a quick game real quick, right, Fred? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we got this game we play. It's called Quick. quick. Okay, so we ask you a question. You have to ask, answer the question within right. three seconds, okay? Mm-hmm. Whatever comes to mind. Uh, you want me to kick it off or you want to start? I'll kick it off. Okay. Uh, um, if you could perform at any venue, where would it be? Coachella. Coachella. Yeah. Okay. Why? I think I got the most people. I, I, I think that got more than that be having more than rolling loud. Um, That's true. Coachella or rolling loud, you, either yeah. one you choose. I I want <laughs> I want perform for the most people. That's right. Shit, matter of fact, uh, halftime at the Super Bowl. 
Yeah, I want the listen. That yeah, I want the event. I want, I want the big one. I want the big one. <laughs> yeah, like his 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 team, right? Just his team is like, yeah, where where's the party at? We mm-hmm. we trying to work. We yeah, trying we to talk about the party. We, 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 we want to know where the most people are. Exactly. Right? We ain't shying away from <laughs> nothing and nobody. That's it. Okay, so uh, where do you see yourself in the next five years in music? Five years down the line, I done, I done did my thing. We set in stone five years down the line, but we still working too. By five years down the line, we should be set in stone. I should already have done, had a nice little wave by then. Right. I ain't never going to be content, so I'm going to keep bringing pressure. I know, that's right. Keep moving. Last. Uh, what is your favorite sneaker silhouette? I hate. What's your favorite sneaker silhouette? Jordans. Which one? Uh, Levens. Yeah. Those that's cool grades right there. Yeah. That my cameraman, Joey yeah. Lennon. <laughs> the ones that's dropping. Yeah, that, that my cameraman, yeah. Joey Lennon. He go everywhere with me. He got them cool gray Levens on them OG ones. Next one's the drop. Yeah, we do all the OG. I don't like them funny style. Yeah. <laughs> we do all the OG ones. What's the What's the funny style? All them new, them the new, new ways with them new colors for them. Yeah. We ain't doing that. Yeah, I keep it OG. OG <laughs> everything. I dabble a little bit, but the crimson joints is mm-hmm. the, the furthest. That's dead it is. Everything else is OG. Yeah, yeah. I want all the OG. Yeah. All my my OG. uncle had a closet full of nothing but OG, so mm. I don't want nothing but OG. Well, you know what? You just giving me new desire mm-hmm. forget the yeezys team i yeah. want the jordan yeah he, he all right we ain't no we ain't knocking yeah he all right but <laughs> but that the yeah that would be coming from here yeah, jordan we've been trying to get some jordan <laughs> okay so thank y'all for coming out we thank, thank your y'all. team listen y'all make sure y'all follow this man and let them know where they can find you on social media your music and everything let them know y'all can find me on instagram at one long money and then y'all can find me on all the digital platform, all the music platforms, Long Money Folk. All my tapes from Overdue to Practice to Serious Me to Big Play Z. Hey, long Money. Hey, hey, everywhere. Every time. Every time. Everywhere. Long Money. <laughs> Everything. Long Money Phil be getting it in. Big, big Play Z my little tip or Serious Me my little tip? Serious me, all right. I want to make sure I had that right. <laughs> Serious me. Big plays there too coming. Yeah. Usual suspects just dropped but my brother, Nike Town Drew. That going crazy. That just something yeah. for the streets to, you know, hold on to. So yeah. we actually finally oh, dropped some of his music now. Uh, let's get in a walk. Let's get into walk. That's my single right here, walk. That's the big one. <laughs> <laughs> 